In my book, I try to show that when religion or science fall into irrationality, it's for the same reason, a lack of realism. I tried hard to make this book readable and understandable. It has diagrams, it has tables, it has images, it has stories, it even has something I call an epistodometer. And I do not assume any previous knowledge on the part of the reader. I really think that there are three main benefits readers can obtain by reading The Realist Guide to Religion and Science. First of all, they will understand why the supposed conflict between religion and science does not really exist. Secondly, they will know what they should accept and what they should reject of modern science. And then thirdly, they will know how to avoid causing religion to conflict with the legitimate scientific discoveries. Catholic scientist Pierre Duhem proved that the Catholic Middle Ages caused a shift in worldviews that eventually led to the birth of modern science. The Big Bang Theory is not a threat to religion, but an assistance to it. It provides scientific evidence for a defined dogma of the Catholic faith, namely creation in time. Those modern scientists who attempt to explain the origin of life by means of purely material causes are an embarrassment to science and rational thought because they fall into grave irrationality.